Children's Home is located 46 kilometers to the north of Harare at Visitation Makumbi Mission in Domboshawa. The home was established in 1930 by the Dominican Sisters and is now a Jesuit apostolate run in collaboration with the LCBL Sisters. It has a capacity of 100 children, but due to economic hardships, it currently has 81 children. Makumbi Children's Home strives to raise orphaned and abandoned children from as low as 0 to 8 months, giving them education, psychosocial support, spiritual guidance, and prepare them to get into the society. Our vision is that this child is groomed holistically, offering education, offering the necessary support, psychosocial support, giving the child as much as we can the ingredients for this child to be to be successful in life. Running a home comes with both consolations and desolations, as there is joy when the children turn out successful with a bright future and fit well within the society. However, due to limited resources it has been difficult to attain this goal. It brings a lot of joy. When the child is doing very well in school, academic qualifications, you see the bright future of this child and it brings a lot of consolation. But there are also challenges associated with that. As we know that today in our society in Zimbabwe, due to the hardships which everybody is facing, for some years we don't get much grants from the social welfare, so it's very difficult financially uh, to raise children and to offer the necessary support which they, are, which they need. Sometimes we end up giving just the basic. Is it a bit of downsize from the economic situation? Teach you world recession. Teach you how we have been impacted as a country as well. Social welfare is a good thing. The support is a good thing. The support is a good thing. The is not about the capacity, but it's about the money that we, we cannot get from outside world and from within. As they are good thing, we are within the local. We can mobilize some resources. We can be better. We are not going to be able Father Nika and Sister Diana are not sitting on their hands, but have embarked on a number of income-generating projects to help in some of the day-to-day -day expenses for the families at the home. The projects include gardening, poultry, dairy farming, and piggery. These projects improve the livelihood and dignity of the mothers and their children. The projects help the children to have dignity to produce something and see themselves making profits. And the profits which they get from the chicken project, each house has got its particular uh, poultry project and they cut for their chickens. So we have got eight different compartments uh, which comprises of the poultry project. Each house is, they produce uh, their monies or profits, they gather around and decide what they want to do with that money, something they want to improve within their home. And this is how they use it. So it gives some kind of dignity, some kind of responsibility to the mother. A wise man once said, give a man a fish and you feed him for a day. Teach a man to fish and you feed him for a lifetime. By equipping the children with these skills, the home strives to empower them to be self-sufficient after the home. However, they need support. Currently, the families are able to partially sustain themselves and due to the harsh economic environment, sales are low. Hence, they are struggling. In buying from Akumbi Children's Home, you are supporting a greater cause. You are giving dignity to the child. You are giving dignity and self-worth to the child and to the mother and to Makumi. And the more they are able to do it, they say to themselves, suppose we move out of the house, 
or the children's home. We can rear chickens the way we have been doing. We can still make ends meet. We can make a living. So it is giving the children motivation, giving the children skills, giving the children the necessary dignity and support they have. Nyaya wombi and repeat appeal to society day market. Madzimayari pano, they are very hard working. Never never took it a bit, I impart my skills. Eku, Eguita, Jewuku, Jemaditagens, the floor polish. But the challenge is the market. If people can come and assist us by buying our chickens, by buying our floor polish and detergents, we'll be able to meet other needs that we cannot go about every day to say, please, please. The home has great testimonies to share from a number of lives that have been transformed by the support from the home and most importantly, support from lay people who have felt moved to contribute and make a difference in their children's lives. Tatenda Landsberg has just finished his university degree at the University of Zimbabwe, but initially it wasn't easy. Having been informed by the mission superior that there was no money to fund his tertiary education, the situation with many children at the home, his hopes were shattered. <laughs> His dreams were saved by one man who once visited the home and now offered to pay for his tuition and a bleak future vanished. After so many years of grooming and raising a child, the home is still faced with a hurdle on what happens to the children when they reach 18 years, which is constitutionally the majority age, hence they are required to move out. They do not have anywhere to go. The home does not want to dump the children. And the question is, who else can help them? Where will they get employment? Where will they use their skills? And how will they deal with homelessness? It's something which is quaking our heads. Say, how are we going to help these children to move out? But the best we can do is just to offer that necessary uh, formation and then help them to move out. Um, maybe with time, they can find employment some way and then move on. If it doesn't work in Zimbabwe, maybe they, they move to other neighboring countries and start some way so that they move on. So this is what happens with the children uh, above 18. But it's one of our biggest challenges in Zimbabwe in this day and age. I think for Makumbi Children's Home, but also for many people in the country that when a person finishes university education, this person is graduated, what happens to her? It's not obvious that she's going to find it easy. It's easy on the job market or it's going to find it easy to find something to do. There is great need for all of us to reach out to the needy because every donation makes a difference.